open. So if you open up Ride and Dirty, you'll see like it's we actually getting jacked. Ain't show you. Will ain't told me that. You know, we actually getting jacked by the Bonnie Boys. Damn, mm-hmm. that Will ain't told me that yeah, because I remember that saying? when you said that. You know, so so y'all were that hard that it, that's why Pimp C were acknowledging it like that and yeah. burn them. Nigga, nigga, you can't buy the rake shop. This seat note off that body. Yeah, so in every album we drop, we had Bum be on it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey, you love them drop tops, evidently, because I seen you in a cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a car dude, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I seen you in a cutlass. I think I seen you in a uh, Chevy. A drop top in one of the videos too. Yeah. The first one when, uh, with the one I seen you just sitting in the riding dirty car. You just sitting with a. It's just a regular car. That might have been a Cadillac. I don't know. I could just see the window on that on that that's cover. That's uh, on the cover riding yeah, dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a um, that's a suburban. Okay, I could that's, see. That's a truck. And you know, I do know. So the if you cover. open, so if you open up riding dirty, you'll see like it's we actually getting jacked. Ain't show you. Will ain't told me that. You know, we actually getting jacked by the body boys. Damn, mm-hmm. that Will ain't told me that yeah, because you know I remember what that when you said that. You know, so so y'all were that hard that it, that's why PMC were acknowledging it like that and yeah. burn them. Yeah. Yeah. So in every album we drop, we had Bun be on it. Every one of them. Yeah, everybody in the album. They, so it really family. Yeah. Yeah, man, we jump in the bourbon, man, and, you know, hit some corners, you know, blaze something. Like I say, um, that's uh, on the um, Riding Dirty album cover. Yeah. That C note, Suburban. Okay, okay. And, and that's Big Dad's. So like when you open it up in the step side truck, you see the dudes on the back of the truck. Yeah, the yeah. Bus. That's us. Damn. Yeah, and we shot. That's history for you niggas, man. Yeah, and so the, 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 the way I look at it, man, just, I was like, man, I'm going to ask Bun about these damn cars because I know he liked these dang drop tops. Because I seen you come out the house and you jump in the car well, and you I'm drive a, it. I'm going to be very honest, man. <laughs> if, if I'm shooting a video, I prefer a drop top so you can see me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you, if you got a car, a hard top car, and you're shooting a video, you got to light it a certain way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to set the cameras a certain way in order to get the shot of me actually performing the music. But if I'm in the drop top, you can shoot me from the right, you can shoot me from the left, yeah. you can shoot me from the anyway. back, you, know, you can shoot me anyway, and you're going to see me. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm just like, man, look, we need drops, drop, drop. And then I'm in I'm in A-Town, man. Oh, we, you know, we, you know, tops drop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I definitely, man, when I you see them, that, that gave me motivation when I see them video pop up. I was like, oh, visuals are so different now. When I say different, they're easier to do. And people are, how important do you think it is for people to make visuals with their projects? I think in 2023, you don't have a good reason to not shoot a video to every song you make. I agree with that. Like, just straight up. Like, it's so cheap now to get a video done. The technology is too accessible. You know what I'm saying? So, there's no reason why you should, that was something that Pimp always wanted to do. Pimp was like, you know, we should, like, to the point where when Pimp came home from jail, he wanted to go back and shoot videos for songs that we never shot videos mm-hmm. for. He's like, man, we need to go, we need to make a pocket full of stones video. These people deserve, they deserved a pocket full of stones video. They never got it. They deserved the diamonds and wood video. They ain't never got it. So he wanted to go back and shoot all them songs. You know I agree a hundred percent. But the label wouldn't pay. Wouldn't I know, the man. God, that, that's the whole game. Every time. So in twenty twenty three, yeah, no, videos it was still expensive. Still expensive then. Right then. But twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three, man, five hundred to a thousand dollars. You gonna get to it? You know what I'm saying? And you getting quality video. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't. And uh, y'all young. Y'all got the energy. Y'all got the time. There's no reason why y'all shouldn't shoot a video for everything. Shoot it in the park a lot. Shoot it in the studio. Yeah. Shoot it in your backyard. Shoot it in your front yard. Shoot all this shit, man. Man. I have a question about videos, though, because then, like, for me, I'm a very visual person. And one thing I've always asked a lot of um, rappers, like, when I think about a video, whatever story you're telling, I want to see you reenact everything that you're talking about in the video, almost like a mini movie. Right. But I see a lot of these videos, you see, all you see is, like, girls shaking their butt. You see, yes, it's drugs, whatever. But it doesn't always look like a full reenaction of what you're you're seeing. If you look at the numbers, right, because this is all this all comes down to analytics, right? Mm-hmm. People have tried to present product consistently like that. It takes a, it takes a well thought out, well planned out video to execute what you're talking about mm-hmm. doing. The artist got to be into it. The director has to be into it, and a label got to be willing to pay for it, right? 
This it takes planning. It probably take a little bit more money. You know what I'm saying? And you're not really sure about the outcome. Mm. But if you put some ads on a video, people will watch it. Watch. You will get people's attention. And that's all they're trying to do is get people's attention. I'm okay. a brand new artist. You don't know nothing about me. You ain't never heard this song before. But it's been proven that sex sells. Yeah. So it's just eye candy to draw people in to the artist. It's the easiest way for to get people that don't know me to stop and be like, whoa, what's going on over here? That's really all it's about, getting Got eyes it. on the brand. Eventually, once they get more familiar with the business and understand it, you'll see the quality of the video starting to expand a little bit more and more. But that depends on the content they're making, too. If they're making a the content about girls shake your ass, <laughs> I don't know what other video this right. is supposed to get, right? Right. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.